Good afternoon all, it's Andy from Ilkeston Fishing. Today's video is going to be a short one showing you how to find Chadwick's Pond. Uh, I know some people um, have been struggling to find it so I thought I'd do a quick video uh, on how to get there. Cheers. Okay guys, so the best place to park when you come down to fish uh, Chadwick's Pond would be the car park by the side of the road which is actually uh, members only. Um, as you can see behind me there's a metal gate which um, has got a nice sturdy padlock on there so um, if you want to come down as a member you should have the code in, in your members book once you've parked down at Private's Pond car park you need to walk over the canal bridge there's two ways you can look there's this way, take note of where the staging is, uh, the car park will be on your right as you're looking up. Um, this is the route to go down to Private's, um, sorry, Chadwick's Pond. There's Tom Luck and his army gear. Uh, come for a little walk with his dad today, aren't you mate? Yeah? Come on then, you lead the way. It can get quite muddy down this path, so uh, watch your step, especially in winter time. Uh, Summer time, it's obviously nice and dry, so uh, it should be should be fine. Okay, just behind me is the first route down to Chadwick's Pond. Um, if I quickly show you, you can see behind me. Look, it is quite a way down the canal side, but if you look. Down this path where Sergeant Morley's going, <laughs> um, that sort of leads round to one end of Chadwick's. But what I'll do is I'll take you further down the path behind me uh, and show you the other route. Chadwick's is reported to be, um, if you like, our specimen pond down at Stanton. Um, there's been quite a hive of activity on the Facebook page uh, for, the, for the Stanton Fishing Club um, with specimen carp uh, primarily so I think there was a, a 26 pound mirror carp which was put up on the Facebook page um, also with a brace of 20 pound plus commons as well so here we are arriving up the bottom end as it's called of the Nutbrook Canal. In the summertime you'll see carp topping down this end quite often. Um, decent size, I've, I've never caught one out of here personally but um, I know people that have and they're reporting that um, they're at least sort of 14 pounds upwards um, down this far end. Okay, so we've got to the end of the Nutbrook um, canal path and we're going, heading round a bend um, where the old Stanton factories used to be. So you will come across what looks like some waste ground. Uh, if I just spin the camera. Okay, you can see the fence. So the way to find Chadwick's Pond is to follow the fence round. So. I'll just show you quickly. You'll see behind me, look, the fence sort of goes a little bit, a little way down here. And as you come to this sort of T junction, if you like, you can either go right, which is what we'll do, or you could turn left to go around the other side of the pond. Okay, so we're following from that T junction, following the fence along past the waste ground this is why a lot of people tend not to fish it so much because it can be difficult to get down this way especially in the summertime when the bushes are overgrown uh, but obviously because it's winter they've started to die back a little bit um, trying to get a fishing barrow down here for example uh, can be quite difficult now you can actually cut through this waste ground because there is a hole in the fence but, um, 
I think that was obviously put there to aid access, but I wouldn't obviously come down cutting fences. Fences are there for a reason, obviously. So uh, there is, you are able to sort of walk through this waste ground, and there, there's a hole in the fence a little bit further along here, um, which make, should make it easier to get to. Okay, so we're approaching um, Chadwick's Pond now. If I spin the camera around, you'll see behind me, look, the actual pond itself. Um, also, this is the hole in the fence I was talking to you about, so you can actually get through with your burrows through this hole. Yeah. Okay, it looks, actually looks like there's someone down here fishing, so I'll go and have a quick chat with them. You can see there's a bivvy set up on the point. So we'll go and approach first, see if they've got a ticket, I suppose, and then uh, ask how they're going on. Because it's quite rare to see people fishing uh, Chadwick's, mainly because of how difficult it is to get get to. So um, yeah, I'd be interested to see whether they're carping or piking. And imagine this time of year, they'll be dead baiting. So we'll go and have a look, shall we? Okay, so we've got to the pond itself. Um, just going to quickly pan around at the far end where the water inlet is uh, from, I'm assuming, the Nutbrook. So, let's have a quick pan round. Okay, so it was a quick video. Uh, it's quite, quite easy to get down to the pond. Uh, you just literally follow the Nutbrook Canal um, all the way to the end. You'll come round a sort of a, a bend, uh, follow the path, um, follow the metal, f uh, sorry, the wire fence, um, which is on the waste ground, which we're actually where I'm walking now, taking a bit of a shortcut back to the car. Um, but the fence behind me, if you follow that fence round, you'll see the pond on your left. Uh, one thing I would say is that the banks can be quite steep, so uh, if you're going to try and get down there, be careful. Um, one of the major features of Chadwick's is uh, a swim called The Point. Now you get down there um, and there's three pegs uh, which give you access to the entire pond. Um, it's quite common to go down there. Um, and see where bivvies have been set up or as we did today there's a guy down there um, dead baiting uh, with his bivvy so um, he's uh, yeah so come and check it out um, have a look on the Facebook page um, facebook.com forward slash Stanton Fishing Club um, you'll see there's a gallery on there for every water that we have uh, at the club Chadwick's um, got possibly the most impressive gallery on there there's uh, as I mentioned earlier a lot of uh, 20 plus carp on there um, some right monsters in there too so uh, for 16 quid for the year um, my opinion anyway it offers some of the best value for money uh, fishing giving you the opportunity to go and catch these big 20 pound carp so come check it out sign up to the Facebook group um, also post your pictures of the fish you've caught up on there um, let's try and get this awesome pond um, fish more regularly again cheers <laughs>